welcome to Purchase Reviews. Today I'll show you how to make a Galaxy Tumblr from start to finish while also reviewing Art Resin's brand of epoxy resin. First of all, you'll need a plain stainless steel 20 ounce tumbler and some 220 grit sandpaper. Now give the tumbler a good wash with water and detergent. And then dry off with a clean towel. Start sanding all over, including at the base of the tumbler. And once done, wash and dry your tumbler again. To position the tumbler, I just fold and wrap a tea towel around a piece of pipe. This is so that you're not having to touch the tumbler during the alcohol clean, spray paint and sealing process. Also, the oils from your fingers tend to repel epoxy, so it's good just to keep them away from your tumbler throughout the project. Now wipe with alcohol. I like using alcohol swabs, but you can do this any way you like. This is just to make sure that you've gotten rid of any fine particles or grit that may be still stuck on. Use a bag or glove over your hand to avoid spray painting it. Also, make sure to use a respirator when spraying paints and sealants so you don't end up getting sick. I use Rust-Oleum Black Satin Spray Paint to coat my tumblers because it spreads evenly and lasts a long time. Now shake the paint can for around 2 minutes to ensure that the paint has mixed well. Grab the tumbler and hold the spray paint nozzle around 30cm away while giving rapid bursts from side to side. Also, make sure to turn the tumbler as you go to avoid any paint runs. I normally leave it to dry overnight, or you can speed up the drying process by using a heat gun. And once dry, I use Mod Podge Matte Sealer to seal the tumbler. It's important that you use a matte sealer, otherwise the epoxy will repel. Again, shake for two minutes and apply the same way we did with the spray paint. Now I'll leave this to dry for an hour or two while I get everything else set up. Okay, now it's time to mix the resin. I'm using Art Resin, which is a non-toxic, BPA-free, food-safe, self-leveling, doming resin, not a casting resin. This is really important to note, because if you use a casting resin, you'll have fish eyes and uneven patches all throughout the surface of your tumbler, which will ruin your project and your mood. Doming resin has a different viscosity to casting resin, and is specifically designed for coating artworks in a thin layer of resin. Doming resin also contains a lot of bubbles, so it's not suitable for deep casting projects because the bubbles take much longer to rise to the surface, whereas a casting resin is purposely designed for pouring thick layers of resin as bubbles will naturally rise to the surface, making them much easier to pop. If your resin is too thick, then it's going to be much harder to work with, so grab a tub and fill it half-half with water and boiling water. Place your bottles in for around 15 minutes. This is so that the resin will be easier to pour and give you better coverage during the coating process. It's pretty cold here in Australia now, so I definitely need to heat up my resin prior to use. But if you live in a warmer climate, then you won't need to bother with this step. Now you'll need to grab some white opal glitter, popsicle sticks, white alcohol ink, which I'm using Pinata Blanco Blanco, but you can use any white ink that you'd prefer. The resin can be poured into a cupcake patty, cardboard or silicon cup. Grab a 10ml syringe and a small flat edge scoop for drawing up the glitter. 
Now the alcohol inks I use are the Marabou brand Blue Gentian, Red Magenta, and Rainbow. I'm sure though that you can use any similar inks on the market for this project and still get a good effect. You'll also need some gloves because otherwise the inks will stain and the resin is going to stick to your hands. Now draw up 8 mils of resin to 8 mils of hardener using a syringe. I find that this way is a lot more accurate, so you're not going to have to worry about your resin not curing properly because you didn't get the mix right. You can always add 10 and 10 mils, but resin is expensive, so I've worked out that this is the exact amount I need to cover a 20 ounce tumbler. Use your popsicle stick to stir for around 3 minutes. Pour around 2 mils of the mixed resin into a separate cup, add 4 drops of white alcohol ink and stir well. With the remaining batch of resin, add a small amount of opal glitter. This stuff goes a long way, so no need to overdo it. Now place some parchment paper underneath the cup rotisserie to catch any drips and use a spirit level to make sure that the rotisserie isn't on too much of an angle. Apply the sparkling resin sparingly to your tumbler, a bit like you would suntan lotion, making sure that you spread it all the way over to the edge to also cover the bottom of the tumbler. Just take your time with this process, there's no need to rush or get yourself flustered. If resin is too thick to spread, just use your heat gun or hair dryer to thin it out. But don't overdo it or else you'll burn the resin. Your heat gun or hair dryer will also help to remove any bubbles. Now shake the ink bottles well and add drops of the blue and red ink making sure that you get good coverage. And when it comes to using the rainbow ink you'll only need to use a small amount as it's very concentrated. Now while the tumbler is spinning, add some streaks of the white resin using a popsicle stick. Turn the tumbler up and down a few times. You can also use some heat to get the inks moving until you get the effect you're after. Now cover with a box to protect from dust particles and let the resin dry for up to 3-4 to four hours or until it feels tacky to touch.
For the second to coat, mix 8 ml to 8 ml of epoxy again, stir well, and then apply the same way. Remembering to use a heat gun or hairdryer to remove any air bubbles or to thin out the resin. Now cover up and wait a further 24 hours for the hard cure and 72 hours for the full cure, depending on room temperature and which resin you're using. I leave my tumblers turning anywhere from between 10 to 15 hours. Once cured, you can use an exacto knife to remove any resin on the lip and also apply acetone to a towel or cloth to remove any paint or resin drops inside the tumbler. Give your tumbler a good hand wash before use and then you're ready for that well deserved cuppa. I also found some silicon tumbler bumpers which will help to keep the bottom from getting scratched over time. I'll leave links to all the products I've used in this video so that you can get started with all that you need to achieve this project. Well I hope that you've enjoyed this video, leave a comment if you need any help and make sure to like and subscribe for future reviews and how to videos. Until next time, thank you for visiting Purchase Reviews and happy tumbling.